Adjacent to the Yahats Memorial Park, there's a pet cemetery. There's nothing but this stone marked in here, so I don't know anything about it, but really interesting. Also, really nice to know you could go to the pet cemetery to get out of the tsunami zone. tell how steep this land is it's really steep I can't imagine having to bury anybody in these grounds Would you look at this sweet little pathway? I couldn't resist but hike up inside for a little bit. But that's not what we're doing here in this cemetery today. So I went back into the cemetery, but I can't wait to go back and hike this path and see where it takes me. Much of the upper portion of the cemetery is quite overgrown. So we couldn't find all the graves up there, but we did what we could to look around and recognize what was there. How amazing is this? Oh my goodness. It's so fun. So here you see a rock wall creating a terrace between the upper portion of the cemetery and the lower portion of the cemetery. It's kind of cool, you can see some heathers and some ferns, but I really love down at the end, there's some lithodora that's just spilling over the edge of the wall there. When it's in full bloom, it would be all blue flowers, so I bet that's really pretty. 
So now we're at the grieving shelter where families can go inside and hang out when it's really rainy and stormy or I think they also hold funerals inside of their few heathers all throughout the cemetery but this little piece is a little taller than everything else so I thought it was so sweet that it's surrounding this particular headstone and I wanted to show it to you because I really love the heather uh, ground covers in the cemeteries. Here. 
are her parents who died not long. Well, I guess they died a while ago. 84? Yeah, those are her parents, right? She died in 84. They were 20 mm -hmm. something years old. Mm -hmm. So. This is Edna Mary. Uh, wow. This is Mary Edna Hurt. She was an infant who died in 1884. And I'm going to honor her with some fresh flowers today. Um, these fresh flowers include the hydrangea, which stands for serenity and grief. It also has a rose in there, which is innocence and peace. And then we have some eucalyptus, which is um, a sacred tree in many, in, in many traditions.